Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you how to create a responsive master page in PHP. Right now, if you notice, the home.php page is a simple page. And this page does not contain any header and footer. Let's create a master page for this home.php. And the coding I am using notepad++ and home.php file and this file saved in my local drive and this page contains this is home page with which we saw earlier on the browser. In order to create a master page in PHP we need two files one for the header and other one for the footer. Let's create them and another file. In the header section we need a basic HTML bootstrap theme. Let's go to getbootstrap.com page. Let's grab that HTML code. Now I just opened the getbootstrap.com website. Getting started click. Click the basic template. This is a basic template of bootstrap. It's a perfect responsive theme and it supports all devices. Let's copy this up to here HTML copy and paste in the header.php file and paste in the new one file and I'm saving this new one file as a header.php I'm saving at the desktop header.php save so notice when I saved php the code text color has been changed now from the body to bottom HTML just remove this now this is a header page let's delete these all the unwanted things the next step we need the bootstrap CDN links let's go back to get bootstrap website to collect the bootstrap CDN links just scroll up Here is a bootstrap CDN. Let's copy these all links. And these bootstrap CDN links are very important. If you don't add in your HTML code, it does not work properly on multiple devices. Let's paste these links on the HTML code. Yes. After the opening header section, just paste those links here. Up to now in the header section, we added the HTML tags with bootstrap CDN links. Now the next final part is in the header.php file. We need to add the logo and navigation menu controls. Just for time consuming I already typed that code. Just I am pasting here. So now the header section is finished. So this is the header section. We added HTML and CDN links as well as I added my logo and menu controls. Now it's time to create the footer. Let's click the new to page. In the footer, it's very simple to create a footer. Just close the HTML code here. After closing the HTML tag in the footer, at the top, you can add whatever you want. I have created the three column footer layout for my footer. That code I already added but the time consuming I am just pasting because the purpose of this video is to create the master page with content pages of PHP. And here the, I am adding the three column layout for my footer. I am pasting here up to the bottom. Here one more HTML tag here which we typed earlier. Just delete this thing. It's a normal HTML coding, just I closed the HTML tag in the footer page. Let's save this file into footer.php or HTML. I'm giving HTM page. Save. That's it we need in the footer. Now in the home.php in the above tag, write the PHP code. I am including the file header.php and this header.php between the single quotes. Close it. Close the PHP. And again, 
we need a footer and this footer page file name is footer.htm that's it save this file let's create another page and make this as a contact page let's copy this same here instead of home page this is contact page save this file as a contact contact us dot php save and here one more thing we have to forget let's go to header dot php in the home write home dot php and page 2 instead of page 2 I am using contact and the file name I am using here contact as dot php this file name and home home dot php save this file now it's time to upload these four files into my godaddy hosting remote server after I log into my GoDaddy account, this is the domain name greatdiscounts.godaddy. I'm uploading those four files into this hostings. Click upload, add file, and the file names are one is a header. This is header and both home.php. Enter. The other two file names are the footer and contactors footer this is a footer.html enter upload add file the last one is a contact contact us.php file these are the four files we have just created and uploaded in the main server now it's time to test on the browser The website name is greatdiscounts.co.in slash home.php enter here it is the output here is check this is home page is came out of the layout let me fix this thing let's go back to the coding part let's go to home.php the reason why this page is came out of the layout because we have used the bootstrap theme so here we need the div class is equals to container div class is equals to row close this both divs the same as it is just in the contact page also do do I'm extremely sorry for this I have forgot this code because the reason why I have created the bootstrap theme is our PHP master page should work properly on all mobile devices and SEO friendly I'm saving this file again Again, we need to upload the home.php and contact as PHP files. Let's do it. Add file home.php, upload file, add file, contact, contact as.php file. Let's go to the browser, we will refresh the page. After I alter and upload the files again, Yes, I'm refreshing this page. Here it is the output. Now our master page is the perfect master page. And here at the top, how to save images on remote database MySQL, which I have used in my previous videos. The same header I'm using for the demo purpose. Just ignore that header. Just make sure this is the header part and this is the home page. And this is a footer. Let's check the contact page also. This is contact page. Let's copy this link. We will check on mo different mobile devices.
Now I just open the mobile touch dot main. From these mobile devices, I am choosing the smallest one, Samsung Galaxy Y. I'm pasting the code contact us .php. Go. And here is the output. See? This is contact page. That's it. If you like this video, please leave your valuable comment, share this video and please subscribe my channel. Catch you on my upcoming videos.